All right, bud, there's gonna come a day when you do oil and all you will need is one little piece off of this paper towel. Today is not that day, I'm betting. We got our oil, we got our oil filters, we got our fuel filters. Go ahead and lift the hood up. I've already popped it. It's a Ford, so she's kind of tricky. So stick your fingers in there towards the center. Put this down. I, I don't want that scratching my truck. Find the lever, up we go, all the way. There you go. Nothing is easier than changing oil on a diesel. Wanna know why? There's your oil filter right on top. That's why it's the cleanest thing to ever do. Three quarter inch, get up there, left you loosey, break it free. Use your box end. No, 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 use this end. Gets a better bite on it, you don't wanna strip that out. <laughs> Don't drop that plug in that bucket or we're going to have all kinds of a mess. Okay, you're getting ready. You're about to drop. There you go. Now use your hand. I don't care about the plug. There's your hand. Put your... Oh, that's for my hand? Yeah. And oil all over my driveway, son. We got to start cleaning stuff. <laughs> you got oil on me. Look at that. You got oil on you me. You put your hand. You, you... I'm not even changing the oil on you. You put oil your on hands me. on it. Mercy. Well, I guess I started another video without telling you guys what's going on. We're getting uh, the old money pit, the old dually ready to go. Where are we going, bud? Devil's Lake, North Dakota. How far is Devil's Lake, North Dakota from here? Eight hours. About 530 miles from here. Our goal is to leave here within the next two hours. Bud had driver's ed this morning, which I heard they showed you videos. Yeah. A child died. Yeah. In driver's ed, they show videos, at least here in Iowa. They show videos the real life driving and the real life accidents and i'm I, I i hate that you had to see that son but i i feel good that you had to see what happens when a car wrecks mm -hmm. and then talk about how teenagers are stupid well they're not wrong go that way lefty lucy Got there you go there you go that should come off Hold up. Set it on this towel. Right there? Yeah, right here. It won't leak much. Right on it. There you go. There you go. I spent like 250 bucks for fuel filters, oil filter, and oil. 165 bucks. South Dakota, which is one state away from North Dakota, 386 more miles of this highway alone. Interstate. Interstate 29. You're right, not highway, interstate. Dang kid being in driver's head. 386 miles of this till we get to Grand Forks, right? Then we're going to hang a left. I think there's a baby in there too, Troy. I think there's a baby sheep in there. That or one just laid down. Arby's. We've got the meat. I'm cleaning my sunglasses. Need to bend the bill that hat a little more too. Oh. Let me get a hold of it and I'll bend it no, for you. It's how it's a, no. Give it to me. No. Horrible. Horrible. Don't get hit. For some silly reason, I thought diesel would get cheaper the further north I went. No, it's not. Is the post Coming for you. 
We're in Brookings, South Dakota. Future home to Tater Tot going to college, maybe. She's looking into SDSU Jackrabbits. Is that what they're called? Jackrabbits? It's USD. No, USD is down in Vermilion. This is SDSU, South Dakota State University. She's really, really thinking about becoming a South Dakota person. Yeah, it's okay. Rabbit. We only have probably about 892, 7,462 miles left in our journey. What? No. Nah, we're still 300 miles from Devils, so you never know where they're going. There's a lot of lakes in between here. Because that's their trawler. There's the electric trawler on the front, you know, and then when you, like if you're going to go pike fishing, or uh, musky fishing, 90% of the time when you're musky fishing, you want to troll, well that big motor, it's not going to go that 0.5 miles per hour that you need to go, that little one will, so it uses the little one to go slow, and have your lines out, you know. Listen to those old cottonwoods. They're blowing hard, Mom. If you missed that video. Mama loves cottonwoods. Okay, um, we're in North Dakota now. Just crossed probably about five miles ago. Sharp left. North Dakota. And uh, it's beautiful. Um, there's only one thing I love more than rolling hills. I mean, I, I love mountains. I've told you guys I love mountains, but the rolling grasslands, the rolling pastures, those are awesome. Those are just kick at, kick butt. Really like those. The mountains, you can't beat them. He's stretching his legs. Nothing. I was just making the point that you're stretching your legs. I'm stretching my legs. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Good, good. Are you? Yeah. You're going to take over driving for a little bit. Yeah. After 275 miles, you're going to take over. Nice. It's all Canada up here. Every once in a while, I meet a hopper bottom. But uh, every semi we've met so far is all Canadians. Well, what do you say we go see if we can find a North Dakota sign to get a picture of you? Troy's never been to North Dakota before. This is his very first time. New state, check mark. Get as many of those new states in as the younger you are. I don't know how many I've been to. You've been to a lot. <laughs> you've been all the way over to the east coast in the semi. Mm -hmm. you've, already, you've been all the way south in the semi. But this is your furthest north you've ever been because I don't sober. truck north. Well, yeah, Minnesota, but I'm talking on Interstate 29 here, oh, yeah. like North Dakota. Mm -hmm. I think my feet smell rather delightful. No. Nope. No? No. Okay, whatever, man. There's a plane. Oh, there is a jet plane. 
Welcome to Fargo, Fargo, North Dakota. Fargo. 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 Fleet Farm. It's a Peter Butt. Yeah, it's a Peter Butt. There's a butt on Butt. I remember that. Remember that? Every time we'd see that trucking company going down the road when you were a little kid in the semi, you'd go, but learn. Yeah. Yeah, we were running the old freight line up and down the road. You'd see a trailer, a butler transportation or something like that, and you'd go, but learn. Are you drinking a beer and driving? It's not. It says no water on it. Troy, you're drinking beer and driving. That's an open container and an OWI. Never mention you're only 14 years old. He doesn't believe me that it's water. Liquid death, mountain water. What makes water so good? This is great water. What makes it so good? It's mountain fresh. Both hands on the wheel, young man. Ten and two. Oh, there. Oh my gosh. Quit hitting the bumps now, son. <laughs> Troy, you've hit a few bugs. Welcome to Grand Forks, North Dakota. Another, what, 120, 130 miles we'd be in Canada. Go say hi to Trucker Josh. He's probably down in these neck of the woods right now as we're down here. Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Here we are. For all those people wondering why I'm not camping this time, it's sea because it's because pretty boy, you got sea salt spray for your hair. Yeah, makes a wavy. Oh my gosh, Troy! <laughs> oh yeah, check these digs out. This is kind of weird to see, especially on this guy's channel because he always does the camping thing. We're not camping it. We're we're doing this. Pretty boy there. It's not for me. No, it's not. It's not for him at all. It's actually for me because we're expecting 87 to 90 degrees for the next four days. And my truck camper does not have an AC on it. And we're, we're not in an area that's low humidity. So 90 degrees is 90 degrees warm. So we're kind of lucky we got this room though. We, uh, Devil's Run. If you're familiar with it, you're into cars, man. Devil's Run is one of, it's probably the biggest car show in um, North Dakota. It's basically Sturgis of North Dakota, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. They're expecting over 2,000 antique rides, 2,000 old cars, burnout contests, some kind of level contest, cruises, a four-hour parade of cars, stakes. It, it's going to be pretty neat. It's a little bit bigger than just a leak. Yeah. Troy, I don't think there's supposed to be that much diesel yeah. under your pickup. Thank you. You too. Breakfast of champions complete. He has an awesome place. And the owner of it's a veteran. Last name's Peterson, right? Mm -hmm. And then in the military, they called him Pete. So he went with Pete's Bait Shop. And that's his son in there right now. That was awesome. That was an awesome experience. All right, so I need to get online and buy a fish license because I kind of forgot about that. But we went to the local bait shop. There's a lot of them here in Devil's Lake. Definitely go to Pete's there. It's over across from street from Walmart. Um, what do you say we go find some fish? Hello, Mr. Leeches. It's a lot of leeches. A lot of leeches. I don't even know if we sell them that big back home. First walleye on. Get down there. First walleye, buddy. First walleye for you. 
Look at that. That's a perfect eater too. What do you think of those, bud? Those are mayflies. I said we don't get out. No, we're not gonna get out right here. <laughs> oh man, look at them! They're swarming us. Yep, they're swarming. All right, Devil's Lake. Devil's Lake. Everywhere we go is Devil's Lake out here. Even when you guys see us fishing on um where we caught the walleye and the pike back there. That was still Devil's Lake. It's just a, uh, what, do, what are we calling them? What's it's the, a lake. No, what's the word? The spillways that go up? Canal. The bays, the canals, the canals. There you go. Wow, those flies are horrible. We're not getting out here. I was thinking about fishing right here. Well, but what do you think about that? We're not getting out no. right here. No, no, this is, this is Mayfly territory. They can own this. Pressure downward, downward, downward. Push down on it. Okay. Flip it. That's terrible. No, you're fine. You're fine. You ain't gotta be perfect every time. This is your first walleye you've ever cleaned. This is a little bit bigger than just a leak. Yeah, Troy, I don't think there's supposed to be that much diesel no, under your pickup. Yeah. I guarantee the back of your pickup's not supposed to be covered in diesel. Torno ring. Well, I don't think this town has a parts store. They do have a Walmart. I bet Walmart has something we can figure out. traffic on this highway. What do you think? It's a beach. It's a beach? The thing is, this isn't flooding. This is just normal now. It's the thing about Devil's Lake. It just takes over, buddy. It takes over anything it wants. Things have slowed down a little bit this morning. Um, so what we ended up doing yesterday is that fuel leak. It was the top of the fuel filter and uh, the seal going around it was ripped. So they didn't make it, or they didn't sell any um, fuel filters at uh, Wally World there. They did sell oil filters. I found a very small oil filter. We're talking like that big by that big that had an O-ring in it that would fit my fuel filter housing. So I had to buy an oil filter. Put that on, it's working fine. When we go back into town, we will uh, stop by O'Reilly's 
and buy uh, a whole new fuel filter for just in case it starts leaking. I have another gasket on hand, plus an extra set of fuel filters wouldn't kill me none to be carrying with that thing anyway. Like I said, things have slowed down a little bit on the lake. Got a pretty big storm in last night. We are on a bridge, old highway 281. Devils like just floods highways. They gotta move highways and do everything. They can't just, uh, they build them higher and stuff like that. You can, uh, well, we put on 100 and, 150 miles so far since we've been here. So, Devil's Lake and the surrounding lakes is just one big spread out area. If you got a boat, you're still gonna drive a lot because you're still gonna, because one boat ramp does not get you into all the, everything. You actually have to pull out and go to another boat ramp and go to another boat ramp and go to another boat ramp. And a lot of stuff like this right here that we're looking at, I don't even think there's a boat ramp to it. Troy wants to practice his uh, pike cleaning skills, so we're going to go ahead and keep this feller here and we're going to clean him up tonight. I know we want to fish Graham's Island, the road, the rocks that people call Kurt's Rocks. I don't want to get out of the pickup at that. Look at that! Look at me. Oh. I have an idea. What? Don't see how bad it is about the cars. Alrighty. Wow. And I can already feel my leg here tingling. <laughs> <laughs> Those beautiful locks of love of yours would be full in like two seconds. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is the walleye, oh. the walleye are not biting. So what we want to do is uh, do some white bass fishing. If you don't know what a white bass is, they're fun. They're really fun to catch. But I am struggling to bring myself to get out of the pickup. Don't get out this in conditions like this. No sense terrible. That is just nasty. I've been out here many years and the mayflies have been way worse than what they are right now. I mean to the point to where you have a head net on and your whole head net is completely covered with mayflies. It's not pleasant to fish in. But as you can see they're not on that side of the pickup. I guess they don't look too bad. You okay there, bud? You're covering me. Yeah, we're done. We tried. We were here for 15 minutes. If this was our only option, if mayfly, if uh, we knew that it was mayflies everywhere this year, we'd be shit. Ah, they're all over in the pickup. We'd be fine. We'd deal with it. But all we gotta do is drive 30 miles north, away from... <laughs> They're already in here for me, but once we hit 80, we're, hit, we're going 80 mile an hour, shut them out. But all I know is we drive 30 miles north and we ain't gotta worry about any of these, so if there's fish, if there's fish in these mighty waters, and the worst part is, if you kill one on yourself, you get covered in stinky slime. That's what that smell is? Yeah.
I know you don't want me to show any of this, Troy, but I'm telling you, that's, your, <laughs> that's your very first pike you've ever cleaned, and I have no clue how to clean a pike. That, see, see, right here, mm -hmm. I bet it has, there's only a little bit of bones on this side right here, but right here is clean, lovely, it just has to be, but right here, it's supposed to look like over here, but you can see this, I didn't get that. Yeah, well, like I said. He's a very squishy fish. <laughs> He's a pike. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no clue how to clean him. This is, this is your first pike, and I have no clue. So you're doing great, bud. I wonder what they have for running gear underneath of them. It's, they're 1940s, but I promise you those aren't 1940 running gear underneath. All right, this is our last and final day up here fishing on Devil's Lake. No, we are not early risers. We will never be early risers. It's 6.30 a.m. right now, and this is the earliest you're gonna get me up. It's all right, because Devil's Lake sleeps in. The fish actually don't start coming on until later anyway, so. At least that's what I tell myself. Okay, let's go get this done. fished a little late last night that was about 12 and a half hours of fishing hard yesterday kind of wore out I never thought I could say I wore out from fishing that's just a long day a good day we had fun um, we caught a lot of pike we didn't catch many walleye and uh, we didn't catch any white bass so today we might join the Minnesota crew and uh, try catching some white bass after we catch a few walleye Nothing yet. Yeah. <laughs> this is called the gauntlet. You guys probably can't see it. The Mayfly gauntlet. fishing for about two or three hours now I haven't even got a nibble so I don't know what's going on how's your ice cream uh, I had to go with a sundae no no twist ice creams with cones at this Dairy Queen either You have four skips? Yeah. Good. The, the shore fishing has been pretty bleak today. 
we haven't even gotten a bite where we have gone we've been watching this boat out here right there for the past half an hour they're not even getting a nibble and they have thousands of dollars worth of electronics on there been a rough day but we're making the most of it you don't come on these trips to only catch fish you come on these trips just to chill out to relax a little bit and spend some time together oh yeah that it's broke down again turbo isn't wanting to work so I'm letting it cool down then I see what we're doing I don't know from here on out from here on out until I get a gas put in this thing, a gasser, this pickup ain't leaving a 100 mile radius of home. That's what I know right now. You can't trust it. You just flat out cannot trust it. I think that was it that rubber hose over there which is really sad to see but really happy to see I think that might have actually been it it was 94 degrees yesterday and we were doing some setting and idling because we were debating on where we wanted to fish or what we wanted to fish for kind of thing I'm thinking that rubber hose I know it was laying down I'm thinking it was sucking too hot of air through the filter and too hot of air to go into the turbo. I know it sounds foolish, but ever since I found that hose and I put it facing forward towards the grill, eh, the truck has not acted up once yet. And the, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I think the, I think the turbo is trying to suck too hot of air. But it, the sad part I was telling you about is that's the only inlet for the air to come in. That's horrifying. That thing needs way more air than that. We might have to do an upgrade on that. Hmm. We're just north of Fargo, North Dakota right now. Troy's topping our tanks off. We're gonna run inside, grab something to drink, see if they got a few munchies, and then get back onto Interstate 29. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, Troy, but I'm craving a quick trip because they have donuts all day long. Home sweet home, bud. Did you have fun? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I miss you. Yeah. I can go inside now. Help. I see you. Help. <laughs> hey boys, hey babies, how are you? Opie. <laughs> He's just happy to be running out front. Yeah, mommy don't let us out front. Yeah. I made a five day video and I think this is the first time you're in it, Opie. I, 
I know, I agree. I agree with that look you just gave me. <laughs>